There have been touching tributes for the two young boys who died early this week in a tragedy that's left Port Lincoln reeling. Members of a local football club hosted a public memorial, joining the community and rallying around the families, still trying to understand their loss. A community united in grief. We come together today to be as one. Gathering at the Lincoln South Football Club to remember Coda, Hunter and their father Damien. We need each other so it couldn't be a better thing to do than to get together and support each other. A candle lit for each life lost at a place where the father was a leader. This whole year in will just, I would think, leads to worse things in the future so we've got to express ourselves and um, let grieving because it's natural. The grief made worse knowing Damien had shot his two sons and himself before driving off the wharf. If Damien did do that, it wasn't the Damien that we all knew and loved. The situation that he must have been in is something I don't think any of us could understand but him. At the wharf, a father tries to explain the unexplainable to his son as tributes continue to grow. Being a mother, I just feel totally distraught at what happened. I've got tears in my eyes. Very sad. If there's any good that can come from this tragic event, it's hoped that it shines a light on the issue of mental health and prompts people to ask their loved ones, are you OK? I hope it does. I really hope that people will respond in that way, that mental illness isn't invisible. There are a number of benefits planned to help the family with donations already coming in. Funeral plans are yet to be announced. Heaven awaits these two beautiful boys. Off to the land of a thousand toys. Harvey Biggs, Nine News.